Greetings and welcome back. Our featured presentation today highlights influential African Americans who not only helped shape America, but also shook up the world. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Our list is based on the Undefeated 44, which is published by Undefeated.com. And we want to commend them on their research and compilation of these 44 African-American influencers. These individuals are the true essence of black excellence and represents the quintessential mission of our channel. The Undefeated 44 is a collection of dreamers and doers, noisy geniuses and quiet innovators, record breakers and symbols of pride and aspiration. We pay homage to these African-American leaders and pioneers who are truly an inspiration as their personal achievements reveal the best qualities of black Americans. In this original Black XLS video, we will feature influential African-Americans who help shape our world. So without further ado, let's get started. Benjamin O. Davis Sr. Because he led the fight against enemies both foreign and domestic, Benjamin Oliver Davis Sr., the first African-American general for the U.S. Army, battled segregation by developing and implementing plans for the limited desegregation of U.S. combat forces in Europe during World War II. Following many years of service, he became an advisor for the military on racial discrimination, pushing for full integration of the armed forces. He earned a Bronze Star and a Distinguished Service Medal. Frederick Douglass Because his voice rose from the horror of slavery to challenge the denial of black humanity, Every black person who has called America home has existed in one of these three states, a slave, a free person among slaves, or a free person who must still fight for full freedom. Frederick Douglass endured them all and spoke to these unique human conditions while demanding complete black inclusion in the American experiment. He arose to prominence in the abolitionist movement through his vivid portrayals of brutality, the severing of familial bonds, and mental torture. Frederick Douglass also knew how to enrapture an audience with his dazzling oratory. Dr. Charles Drew, because he was a true blood pioneer who has saved and is still saving millions of lives. As a researcher and surgeon, Dr. Charles Drew revolutionized the understanding of plasma, the liquid portion of blood without cells. After becoming the first African American to get his doctorate from Columbia in 1940, Drew was the world's leading authority on blood transfusions and storage. His research established protocols on how blood should be collected and refrigerated, how donors should be recruited and screened, and training methods for people who would collect and test blood. W.E.B. Du Bois, because he observed the multifaceted nature of African Americans. In a career spanning over a half century until his death in 1963, Du Bois possessed the most perpetual voice on race in American history. Du Bois also wrote incisively on the black condition, including the observation that blacks have a double consciousness. He wrote that African Americans feel their two-ness, an American, a Negro, two souls, two thoughts, two unreconciled strivings. This is the legacy of Du Bois, a veritable library of works that were essential reading the moment he finished them, because they spoke to the issues of the day and yet speak just as loudly now. Duke Ellington, because in death, as in life, he is the embodiment of jazz. Just as soul music in Motown provided the aspirational soundtrack for the 1960s civil rights movement, swing music furnished the upward mobile score for the mid-1900s Harlem Renaissance. And of all the formidable band leaders of this era, Edward Duke Ellington was the most pivotal. An economical pianist and canny orchestra leader, his music seemed to perfectly capture the essence of the black experience. But his facile reconciliation of street smart rhythm, tuxedo clad melody, and impressionist lyricism was also irresistible to white audiences. If you love our videos and have a suggestion for a future edition, let us hear from you in the comments section below. Aretha Franklin, because hers is a title well earned, the Queen of Soul. Aretha Franklin is undisputed when it comes to pouring gospel-inflected, bluesy wails of love gone wrong lyrics over country-fried, yet pop tracks. Her career has spanned five decades, and she also is the first female performer inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. She's had more than 100 singles that have reached the Billboard charts, and 17 of them have been top 10 singles. She's won an impressive 18 Grammys and has sold more than 75 million albums. Aretha Franklin is one of the most influential voices ever, inspiring and paving the way for current and future female superstars. Jimi Hendrix, because no one can match his genius. 
Jimi Hendrix is hailed by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as the most gifted instrumentalist of all time. Hendrix's virtuosity looms so large that many guitarists still vainly attempt to emulate him. While Hendrix's guitar artistry is undisputable, it's ultimately a puzzle piece of his panoramic talent. He is also a composer of excessively complex songs and a poet-caliber lyricist. The rock legend has posthumously earned multiple Hall of Fame Grammy Awards, including the Recording Academy's prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award. Zora Neale Hurston because she inspired generations of proud black Southern artistry. Zora Neale Hurston was an American novelist, short story writer, folklorist, and anthropologist known for her contributions to African American literature, her portrayal of racial struggles in the American South, and works documenting her research on Haitian voodoo. Of Hurston's four novels and more than 50 published short stories, plays, and essays, she is best known for her 1937 novel, Their Eyes Were Watching God. Zora Neale Hurston's literary work celebrated Southern blackness and rejoiced in the visibility of Southern culture. However, Hurston's work touched on the entire African American experience and her own struggles as an African American woman. Jesse Jackson Because he kept hope alive and made the White House real. Jesse Jackson laid the foundation for electing a black president, one of the signature achievements of the 21st century. It begins with Jackson's decision to run for president himself in 1984, building on what Shirley Chisholm did in 1972. Historians argue that he is one of the greatest political orators in American history, but Jackson's most notable achievement was shaking up the American political system by helping reform a major party and demonstrating that occupying the Oval Office really was an attainable dream for African Americans. Michael Jackson Because he is the king of pop, he arrived on the world stage at age 11, leading his brothers, Jackson 5, as they topped the Hot 100 with their first Motown record singles, I Want You Back and ABC. His 1979 coming-of-age solo album, Off the Wall, raised the bar for dance music production. The singer's 1982 follow-up LP, Thriller, remains the best-selling album ever, having moved an undisputed 100 million copies worldwide. His videos were so powerful that they not only created unprecedented consumer demand for MTV, but also demonstrated the universal appeal of black music, opening a mainstream entry point for rap. Jackson shattered so many industry norms and sales records that he justifiably proclaimed himself the king of pop. He remains the multi-platinum standard, a symbol of near unattainable excellence in entertaining. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us, and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.